history in the making, this is a third special meeting of the 10th parliament. The high-level delegation from SADC and international community have made an exclusive visit to see the Reforms Authority Bill signed into law. Those in favor say aye. Those against say no. There are no dissenting voices and therefore the bill is carried. And the three long days of bargaining and horse trading has finally yielded results. We've spent three days to meet with the government led by Prime Minister, to meet with opposition parties, to meet with political parties, all role players. And we're quite happy on behalf of SADC facilitator, President Cyril Ramaphosa, as well as South Africa's national interest, that the, our interest, the stability and peace of this is quite important for South Africa. And for us, we'll continue to give support as a country, but we're happy now that we're going back to Tanzania to report to SADC and give President Ramaphosa a, a report to say, Finally, the authority bill which creates conditions for national reforms has now been adopted by the National Assembly. To Sadak, that has been really there with us to the end, sometimes very tough, sometimes smiling. What do we say to them? Well, thank you very much for the patience of all our, the friends of Lesotho, starting with our immediate neighbors, the Southern African community, Sadak. It's a great thank you for uh, walking this difficult route with so much forbearance and patience we cannot thank you enough 53 years on since lesotho's independence this is the bill that will craft and pave a new path into the peaceful and prosperous lesotho the national reforms authority bill is to ensure that there is a smooth transition from the physical presence of SADC in Lesotho and to make sure that there is a legitimate body that all Basotho are represented in it to carry forward the reforms ultimately to make sure that the Lesotho they want is represented in a manner that they envisaged. Rapelang Khatebe, SABC News, Maseko Lesotho.